This is the Hollyland Lark Max Duo wireless microphone. I got this microphone since about a month now and I've been testing it throughout this month so to get the best settings that work for me inside and outside of the studio. So in this video I'm gonna tell you about these settings so to help you configure your Lark Max microphone. I'm gonna also show you what comes in its box. I'm gonna talk about its specifications but most importantly I'm gonna be talking about three functionalities that attracted me to purchase this microphone and if they were satisfactory to me or no. So let's start now by showing you what comes in its box. Let's open the box. So this is everything you have in the box. You have some documentation, two furry windshields, a 3.5 millimeter jack, and USB-C to USB-C cable, USB-A to USB-C cable, USB-C to lightning cable. You have a carrying case, a charging case, two microphones, a receiver, and a magnet for each microphone. Let me tell you about the specifications of this microphone now. I'm gonna start with the transmitter. The transmitter's weight is 33 grams. If you add the magnet to it, it will be 34 grams. It has a battery that lasts up to 7.5 hours and it needs less than two hours to charge fully from zero to 100%. It has a range of 820 feet maximum and also it has a frequency response rate from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It has an internal recording capacity. So see this button here, if you press it, the LED light turns red and now this transmitter is recording internally. It can record up to 14 hours in WAV format and the recording encoding is 48 kilohertz, 24 bit. As a matter of fact, I'm recording now internally on the other microphone that is on my shirt. And this microphone also has a pickup pattern that is omnidirectional and it works on the 2.4 gigahertz band. Now for the specifications of the receiver, it has a nice 1.1 inch OLED screen here and it has a battery that can last up to nine hours and it can be charged in less than two hours. I'm gonna talk about the inputs and the controls later on. Now the last specifications are for the charging box. So the charging box can charge the two transmitters and the receiver two times fully and it has a battery capacity of 2800 milliampere hour. Let me show you now the ports and the controls on this wireless microphone. I'm gonna start with the charging case. So on the back of the charging case, you have a USB-C port to charge the case. And inside you have the contacts to charge the receiver and the microphone. If we go to the receiver, I'm gonna zoom in so for you to see better. On the left side of the receiver, you have here a headphone jack to monitor the output of the receiver. And this is USB-C port that serves two purposes. The first one is to charge the receiver in case you don't want to charge it with the case. And the second one is to connect it to your phone or to your computer. Now on the bottom of the receiver, you have the contacts to charge it in the charging case. And on the right side, this here is the 3.5 millimeter jack output in case you wanna connect it to the camera or even to your computer. And this button here, it is the on off button and the lock menu button. So a long press will turn the receiver on and off and the short press, it will lock the menu so that you don't change the settings in the menu inadvertently if you don't want to. So this is the short press and this is the lock on the menu. When you lock the menu, neither the physical button will work anymore nor the touch screen will not work also anymore. Let me unlock it. So this here is the menu button. One press you go into the menu and this here touch button is to go out of the menu or to go back in the menu. And the menu button also rotates and when it rotates, depending on the mode of the microphone and on what microphone is connected to the receiver, you can change the setting of the headphones output. So this is the left output and you go back like this and you change the right output if you want. 
Now also on the back of the receiver you have this clip in case you want to clip it to your belt and also this clip will slide in the flash shoe of the camera so that you can put the receiver on the camera like this. Now let me talk about the microphone. On the side of the microphone you have here a connection in case you want to connect a lavalier microphone and this is here the on off button and also the mute button. So double tap on it it will mute the microphone and the LED light becomes red when the microphone is muted. Another double tap, it will unmute it. And if you long press it, it will turn on and off the microphone. This button here is for the ENC, which is the noise cancelling. So if you short press it, it will go into green here and it will also activate the ENC. And when you activate the ENC, it will activate on both microphones together. So you cannot activate the ENC only on one microphone. And that's a shame in my opinion. Now a long press on it, it will serve to pair the microphone to the receiver in case they lost their pairing. On the other side of the microphone, you have this button here. And this is the record button. I talked about it before. And on the bottom of the microphone, you have a USB-C connector. So the USB-C connector here is to charge the microphone. And also, if you connect it to the PC, you can download the recorded audio clips from the microphone. And these contacts here is to charge the microphone in the box. On top of the microphone, you have a mesh grill to hide the microphone. And this is the clip for the microphone. And this is the magnet for the microphone to put it on your shirt if you want to. And also for the microphone, you have this furry windshield. You put it like this. So the three stripes should be on the front of the microphone like this. And this way it will block the wind noise. Let me share with you now the best settings that I found inside and outside of the studio. So if you go to menu here and for the record mode, I left it on mono for both inside and outside of the studio. And if we go to here, mic settings, and you enter the menu. For the mic gain, I put it on plus two inside and outside of the studio. And if I'm recording on the internal memory of the microphone, I put it on plus 10. Let's go back again. And here I'm gonna show you the equalizer. For the equalizer, I put it on hi-fi if I'm recording inside of the studio and on vocal boost if I'm recording outside of the studio. Now for the noise cancellation, when I'm recording inside of the studio, I keep it turned off. But when I go outside, I turn it on all the time. Now I supplemented these settings for inside of the studio with some filters in OBS. So I put a three band equalizer in OBS and I increased the high band plus four dBs and the low band plus two dBs, the mid band I left it at zero. And I also included the noise suppression inside of the studio and I put it at minus 50 dBs. And I added also two filters, expander and limiter with the default settings. By the way, if you wanna check out this microphone, I'm gonna leave a discount coupon code in the description below. If you make a purchase using my coupon code, I will gain small percentage and you will get the discount and this will be at no cost to you and this will support my channel. Now, at the beginning of the video, I told you that I chose the Holy Land Lark Max Duo for three reasons. So these three reasons are the following. The first one is the equalizer. The second one is the ENC noise cancelling. And the third one is the internal recording. For the equalizer, I'm totally satisfied with the output, whether I put it on hi-fi inside of my studio like I'm doing now, or on vocal boost outside of my studio. Now for the noise cancelling, it is also very good and it blocks the ambient noise like 99% of the time and it even blocks the wind noise. Now I find it a little bit too intrusive, but this is better than to have an ambient noise in your recordings. And for the internal recording, it is also really very good, but I had to put it on plus 10 dBs to get a usable sound from it. But I think this is a safety precaution so that you don't get distortion when there are loud noises. By the way, this is not a sponsored video and I paid fully for the microphone. As a conclusion, I really like this microphone and I find that it is really a very good quality and it is also a good value. Now I'm gonna leave you at the end with a clip that I recorded outside with and without noise cancelling so for you to see the difference in this. So now I am outside recording with the Lark Max and the noise cancelling function is off and there is like a horn blowing and you can hear the ambient noise everywhere. So now first I'm gonna wait for a car to pass. When the car passes you're gonna hear its noise and then I'm gonna activate the noise cancelling and you're gonna see the next car will pass 
and you're not gonna hear its noise. So as you heard, this car passed behind me and you must have heard the noise. So now I'm gonna turn on the environmental noise cancelling and it is by this button here. So now we're gonna wait also for another car to pass behind me and we're gonna hear if the noise cancelling will function correctly. So here's the car passing. I don't think you heard it. Some bicycles too, but the bicycles anyway, <laughs> you can't hear them. So that was the noise cancelling test. And as you heard, it works really very good.